we want to show you something new uh, called Vitals. Vitals is our name for the monitoring and analytics of your Kong infrastructure uh, and the API proxying behavior that's going on within Kong. So Vitals, they have to be enabled. By default, they are disabled. <clears throat> so let me go inside the system. Kong Vitals equals on. Kong Reload. There you go. So there we go. So Vitals are enabled. I do have lots of requests in background being executed to one of my to all of my 1,000 APIs with my thousands of consumers. And so this is generating traffic that's being displayed here in a per second or a per minute uh, precision interval. Now, these are just the first few uh, metrics that we're exposing via vitals. Uh, our L2 cache is a cache that is, exists within each Kong instance that lets us give you that typical sub-millisecond latency performance by caching requests that would otherwise need to go all the way to the database. Uh, and by understanding some of the L2 cache behavior, we can see if, in fact, we are caching most of our requests, which we'd like to be, or perhaps we're not. Maybe, in some cases, Kong's being used in a way that forces it to hit the database very frequently. What you would find in a situation like that is that latency would go up, and the reason would be because that there's a lot of database interaction rather than things getting fetched out of local cache. Now, in addition, uh, we're also seeing uh, some understanding of the latency of the requests that are flowing through Kong Proxy. Uh, and um, in this case, what we're seeing is that the minimum latency is typically zero. The maximum latency we're seeing on this chart is for the very worst request. So there may only be one request that has a latency of 14 milliseconds there, uh, but we're just showing you what the range is. This is just a start of what you can expect with Vitals. We're investing heavily in the, in the feature, and as you might imagine, everything that you can see in Vitals in the admin GUI is also available via the admin, admin API. Kong will always be an API-first product where all of the functionality is available via the admin API and the, uh, the related uh, side on the proxy API. Uh, but in this case, we've added it to the GUI to make it easy to see and uh, access. And like Cooper said already, you know, this feature will have more and more charts, more and more data that would allow you to inspect you know, any potential problem that's happening in your Kong cluster.